In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting information about Flemish giant rabbit. When you talk about a big bunny, the Flemish giant is one of the biggest. The breed's weight is typically around 10 to 20 pounds and can grow up to 30 inches long. In 2010, Guinness World Records awarded a 51-inch Flemish giant the title of the longest rabbit. The ideal Flemish giant rabbit has a long, muscular, well-proportioned body. The head is broad and the ears long. The breed standard calls for the ears to be nearly 6 inches long minimum, and the body length 20 inches minimum. Ears are carried upright. The fur is a rollback, returning to position gradually after being brushed from tail to head. Flemish Giant is one of only a few breeds recognized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association to have a semi-arch body type. This means Flemish Giants have a longer body and the high point of the rise along their back occurs atop the hips. Here are some of the interesting information that you need to know. 1. Flemish Giants Colors The ARB recognizes seven color varieties of Flemish Giant Rabbits, black, blue, fawn, light gray, sandy, steel gray, and white. The National Federation of Flemish Giant Rabbit Breeders shows these on its website. 2. Flemish Giants History Originating in Belgium, the Flemish Giant Rabbit is thought by some to be the founding breed for all modern giant rabbits. An article about the Flemish Giant breed's origins posted on the website of the NFFGRB, the breed club for the Flemish Giant in the United States, notes that the now extinct Patagonian Rabbit of England contributed to the Flemish Giant breed. In Bob D. Whitman's book Domestic Rabbits and Their Histories, the author writes that the steam canine probably also contributed to the Flemish giant's development. The Flemish giant likely first arrived in the United States in the late 1880s, and a breed club for it formed in 1915 with three recognized colors, light gray, steel, and black. Four more colors were added since then, with the most recent one being the 1938 edition of the color fawn. 3. Flemish giant's personality. Laid back and easygoing are two phrases that pop up a lot in descriptions of Flemish giants. While many of this breed might embody those characteristics, always keep in mind that every rabbit is different, generalizations don't always hold true. Flemish giants do seem to be big, lovable rabbits. One thing all rabbits do have in common is being a prey species. This means that they are warier of new situations. They need to assess whether something or someone is a threat to them. Build trust with your furry pal by moving slowly around him or her and respecting his or her wishes in space. The more you get to know your rabbit, the more the personality will shine through. 4. Taking care of Flemish giant rabbits. When caring for your Flemish giant rabbit, consider the following top needs, food, shelter, grooming, and companionship. Safety is also critical, and that applies to all aspects of your bunny's life. One difference in caring for a Flemish giant over other rabbit breeds is the size. Being such a big bunny, expect to allocate more space, offer more food, and do a bit more cleaning. A bigger bunny means a bit more of everything. Rabbit food. Clean, fresh hay is the go-to food for rabbits. Grass hay makes up about the majority of a healthy, adult rabbit's diet. Rabbit-specific pellets in limited quantity provide vitamins and minerals that balance out the diet. Limited rabbit-safe vegetables and fruits provide interest and variety as treats. You can also offer limited amounts of nutritious treats like berries. Clean, fresh water must be available at all times. Dietary needs vary for young, pregnant, nursing, or sick rabbits, so consult your rabbit-savvy veterinarian for advice on feeding such rabbits. Rabbit shelter. Your rabbit needs a place of his or her own inside your home. Figure out which option works best for your situation. Your Flemish giant needs to be able to move freely, lie down, and easily reach what he or she needs. Outfit the home with food and water dishes and bottles, a hideaway, toys, bedding, and a litter box. You also need litter boxes for playtime in an exercise pan or around your home. Keep your rabbit buddy's home clean with daily spot cleaning of the litter box and any messes, daily cleaning of food bowls and bottles, and weekly cleaning of the entire space. A dirty cage or habitat can make your bunny sick. Think carefully about where you place your bunny's home. The temperature in the area is critical because rabbits can endure temperatures much above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The activity level around the cage, proximity to other pets, and even odors all need consideration when choosing a spot for your rabbit's home. Avoid placing your pal in an area that might cause any stress. Rabbit grooming? Flemish giant rabbits have a short, regular coat. For pet rabbits, care of this means brief sessions of weekly brushing, and maybe more during shedding season. Nails require trimming as needed. Long nails can cause injury to your rabbit or yourself. Check the rump area regularly to ensure that it remains clean. Rabbits groom themselves, so baths are usually not needed, except if a bunny gets into something filthy. 
spot cleaning with a damp cloth usually works. If a bath is really needed, use warm water and only a couple of inches or so of water. Dry thoroughly. Never submerge a rabbit in water. Rabbit companionship. Rabbits are social animals. Sharing your home with a pair or trio doesn't mean they won't want to interact with you. Pet bunnies enjoy interacting with each other and you. Some bunnies might not get along, so be careful with introductions when adding a new bunny to a home with established bunnies. If mixing males and females, spaying prevents unwanted pregnancies. Spay also minimizes the risk of reproductive cancers in the future. 5. Flemish Giants Diet and Nutritional Needs Because of their enormous size, Flemish Giants consume a lot of food. Their diet must include large amounts of hay and water and high-quality rabbit pellets. Some Flemish Giant breeders suggest free-feeding your gentle giants with high-quality, commercialized rabbit pellets, as they don't have the tendency to overeat. Others also recommend feeding them freely until they reach their first year, then give them a quarter cup of pellets for every 5 pounds of weight. You could also give them carrots, parsley, cabbage, romaine lettuce, potatoes, corn, yams, beets, papaya, pineapple, strawberries, and cantaloupe. But, be sure to introduce them one at a time until their digestive system could accommodate them well. 6. Flemish Giants Health Concerns They can develop any of the health concerns common in other rabbit breeds. Some of these are GI stasis, malocclusion, respiratory disease, mites, and, in unspayed females, uterine cancer. The size of the Flemish rabbit makes it more sensitive to heat than even other rabbits. Be sure they keep them in an environment that isn't overly humid. Signs of heat exhaustion or heat stroke include rapid breathing, lethargy, ears going red, salivating, lying in a stretched position, and having a convulsion. Their size might also make them more prone to back injury if dropped or handled carelessly. Maintaining health means eating and living healthy. Provide your Flemish giant with proper food and plenty of fresh waters. House him or her in a rabbit-proof room or large enclosure that allows easy movement, and it includes all the necessary accessories, such as toys, hideaways, litter boxes, and food dishes. Your Flemish giant needs a clean, safe environment that's not too noisy or hectic and lets him or her be part of your family. Daily exercise time and or playtime with you and on his or her own helps promote good mental health. Contact your rabbit savvy veterinarian immediately if your Flemish giant suddenly behaves differently or shows any signs of illness. Not eating or eliminating, as usual, changing activity level, having strange discharge from the body, or lumps or bumps on the body might all be signs of a health problem. An annual veterinary checkup might help catch problems before they become serious. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.